ballroom which is at the basement level. For this particular banqueting hall, we have two fire exits on my right and two fire exits on my left. The hotel is well equipped with fire safety installations placed all over the hotel. In case of an incident, please follow the instructions of the staff assisting you as they would lead you towards the safer fire exit and further a safer assembly area. Specifically, there is no mock drill been planned for today. In case of requirement of doctor's assistance, please inform the staff assisting you as doctors are available only on call. Our colleagues assisting you are well trained to face all the emotions. A very warm welcome to all of you to the spectacular evening. Well, my name is Kavya R. Chavali, and I'm going to be a host for the spectacular show that's truly set to inspire all of you, experiment, and dazzle you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to give a head start to this beautiful evening, it is only befitting that I now invite on stage the General Manager India, Schwarzkopf Professional, Henkel Beauty Care. Please put your hands together. Let's welcome on stage Mr. Karthik Koshik. Wow, we got the whole stars of the salon industry right amongst us. That's, that's brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very warm welcome to all our trade partners, all our friends, the media, our colleagues. Welcome to Mumbai. And thank you so much for making out the time to, to grace us with, this, uh, with your presence. Really, really humbled to see so many people here. And the good part is the people have come in from all parts of the country, right? From the east borders, from Guwahati to, to, uh, to the west borders in Gujarat, right up from north, south, right up to Kanyakumari, Kerala. It's really, truly a good amalgamation. Really, a warm welcome to all of you. And I think uh, the, all because of you and your contribution and your, and your support. I think it would not have been possible without all of you being part of this great, great, great team that we are. So what's uh, driving us as a company? Very clearly, uh, it's, it's the people who drive and, and it's the trade partners who drive. For us, the core has always been innovation. That's the core which the company, that's the guiding principle of the company. And all of you would agree that without innovation, it would be very difficult to survive in our trade because every day you have customers and clients walking, asking you a very oft-repeated question, what's new? So, and unless and until you don't tell them what's new, uh, it's very boring for them. So that keeps the pressure on us to keep inventing and you know, keep, keep inventing things and saying, okay, this is new, this is new. And we've got a huge innovation pipeline. Over the last so many years, we've churned out cutting edge products. I think that has been the key to success. I would, I would really, really, put that as one of the key factors for us. We've also uh, gone back and focused on some of our core fundamentals of driving the business, which is definitely cutting edge products. Okay, thank you all of you for coming tonight um, to what I would say the renaissance of Schwarzkopf Professional, because I think at the end of the day, you know, it's interesting, Kartik says, we are a best kept secret. And yes, a lot of clients say that to us, or non-clients, because actually when we've done presentations, they always turn around and say, we never knew about you. But interestingly, and you know, interestingly in Europe, we have been over the last seven years, the fastest growing professional company in our industry. So we are really truly a world number three. And our dream, believe it or not, is to be number two. So be clear, that's where our focus lies. And of course, where do we focus? We've been focusing over the last five years in, uh, shall we say, China. China's been a very big market of growth for us. But now China's established. That region is established. We can close the matter down. And now our goal is to drive growth and success in your wonderful country. So that's why we're here. And that's why, most importantly, we've opened up our new academy here. Because and that is the part of a growing network. And I'm going to just point out, we operate a system called a customer-centric business model, okay? And Kartik referred to it. And what it means is that actually what we try to say, we say, you, we put you in the center of everything we do. That's really 
the way we think, the way we train our staff, and the way we approach the market. Because what we have to do, the only way to be successful, I believe, in this industry is one, you have to listen to the market, you have to listen to your clients, and you have to be able to deliver relevant solutions. And that's the focus. And we have this wheel that encompasses our clients where we start off and we say, yes, first of all, you need innovation. You need good, great quality products. And they need to be exciting. And more importantly, they need to be seasonal. Second topic, you need to provide support. Support to allow you, our partners or potential partners, to be able to grow and achieve, most importantly, what we call salon success. And in the region of support, you know, it's really interesting. A lot of people say, well, what do you support us with? Whether it's from basic marketing, PR, and so on. But one of the key growth areas I would challenge us all as an industry to pick up a notice on is digital. Because, frankly, digital is the future. And this is the way the market is changing. And already in America, you see this dynamic, dynamic change. And businesses being driven purely on the back of Facebook, on Instagram. For example, some of you might have heard of a guy called Guy Tang. Guy Tang has, he is a colorist, very successful, and he has 2.1 million followers, okay? 2.1 million followers. And when he sniffs, the world notices. And that is the, you know, the dramatic change. And we have to embrace that as an industry. We have to face up to it. And India is literally leapfrogging anyway in terms of technologies. So we need to embrace. But as a company, what we've got to do is teach the market, support the market, to be able to use those, shall we say, mechanisms, those channels, to be able to achieve what I call salon success. The other area, is, as, as Kartik said, is education. Education is what drives us. It is the lifeblood of our industry. This, I always say there's only three ways a stylist can earn money in our industry. You either do more clients, that means you have to cut more clients in a day. That means training. You have to learn how to cut and style faster. Number two, raise your price. Raise your price, how do you do that? By being more skilled, being more creative, being more of a technical technician or whatever. But that is the way you go up. And the third way is simple. You sell more. That means 